Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyNote2.com So I've got updated overview of the AT&T Galaxy Note Sorrow ROM uh, This one has been uh, updated with multi-DPI meaning you can now run it in a, in a tablet mode but let me first show you um, the multi-window uh, it's the same, you do get multi-window and also um, the multi-window control app if you want to see the demo of that, see my previous video on my site. Uh, I have the demo of that on the original Sauron video. Now with the new version, uh, you will, one of the main things you will get is a landscape uh, launcher. So that is really cool. Make sure you enable forced auto for the rotate app that it comes with. Uh, otherwise, you will not be able to get that going. Anyway, let me show you the main feature of the update. Now it's actually called the hybrid also. The ROM name has change or it's the Sarum V hybrid uh, ROM so to change the uh, DPI or the LCD density go to ROM toolbox light um, go to build.prop editor and you'll be able to scroll down all the way down to LCD density you can change either of these they're actually the same things um, so let me go ahead and change it if you want tablet mode um, you probably want something like 180 anything between 160 to 200 will get you probably tablet mode and uh, 320 is default don't go any higher I've had problems I uh, my touch was launcher with force close on me this is really for those of you who wanna get um, you know make your phone so you can fit more stuff so let me show you this is all zoomed out galaxy this is my site galaxy note 2 root you can see uh, all the way up to TPU case with kickstand it kinda cuts off there let's use that as a test um, and the change the delsi density I mean so you can change the difference uh, see the difference sorry uh, so 320 to let's go to actually 220 and let's see uh, what that does and you'll have to reboot um, so say yes and uh, the DPI stands for dots per inch so if it you know it's smaller um, so you get you know larger screen you know, in your screen um, this is going to be actually great uh, once we have 1080p screens next year uh, but for right now you know I, I kinda like it on the default 320 but for those of you who have really good eyes um, I am very nearsighted and I have very bad eyes so it's small letters are really bad for me it hurts my eyes uh, you can see right away that you it's you know it's a higher resolution or whatever you want to call it um, the launcher itself, it doesn't look like anything's changed much, but if you actually go open up the browser, uh, and you'll see the difference here. Um, you might get force close. Um, see, you you, you want to, you might have to do it a little bit less. Uh, so let me go ahead and change it back to something a little bit higher. Um, let me see, 220 is probably a little bit too small. So let's go to like 280. That should still work just fine. And if you go to 160, you'll actually it'll actually change into tablet mode. Um, but I I've been having uh, force close problems. Um, so, but let me show you this real quick. I'll be back. There we go. This time it should work a little bit better. I hope so. Yes, there you go. And let me go to uh, Galaxy Note 2 root. And you'll see that you'll be able to see more of the thing. So there is you can't go too low, otherwise you get some errors with some of the apps. Even though, um, even though it's supposed to fix it, but um, this is still very experimental. But um, you know, if you don't have to use DPI, which I don't personally, it's a great ROM. You know, otherwise, um, and uh, that's what I use it for. But um, you can make it if you if you make it a slightly smaller, you can obviously see more. Um, so that might be the best option right now, but certainly in the future this will improve so it's compatible so you can get full tablet mode and uh, uh, full phone mode or even make it you know bigger font all that good stuff. Um, so check it out the updated Sarum V hybrid ROM uh, for your AT&T Galaxy Note 2. Please do not flash on any other ROMs, uh, any other phones. Sorry. I was actually uh, I had a Galaxy S3 T99 T999, and I was I was uh, watching TV and I was all downloading and flashing these ROMs and you know I have a T-Mobile Galaxy S2 I have a T-Mobile Galaxy um, S3 and also T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2. Uh, for some odd reason I thought you know a ROM for a Galaxy S2 is for my Galaxy S3, so I loaded on my Galaxy S3 
and uh, I hardbroked it. So I sent it to Mobile Tech Videos, they're going to fix it, but um, it sucks. So when you flash ROMs, just make sure you download the correct ROM for your phone, then you'll never break. And uh, if you break your phone by flashing another ROM, it's your fault. Don't, you know, don't yell at people. It's your fault, you know, go fix it. Anyway, just an advice. Um, try out this ROM, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh.